here to do a new another uh, new boot uh, <laughs> another YouTube freebie. Um, today's film is Deadly Memories, starring William Smith and Robert Zadar. Now, the last time we saw Robert Zadar was in uh, Drawing Blood, which is easily the best YouTube freebie I think it, uh, I've seen. Maybe seven. I've reviewed three, counting this one. Drawing Blood is the superior film, and uh, who knows. Zadar might be the cause of that, um, or maybe not, because uh, Drawing Blood, uh, not Drawing Blood, uh, Deadly Memories, this one, is a very uneven film. Okay, I'll give you the story. Basically, um, this guy who owns a uh, body shop, this film's alternate title is The Body Shop, um, his wife and kids get, uh, uh, okay, wait, no, uh, sorry, um, this is what happens. There's these punk kids, right? And they're just like on a road trip, they want to cause trouble and whatnot. Um, uh, they <laughs> they stop at this uh, market store or something, and Robert Zadar is the store clerk. And uh, the girls distract him while the guys try to steal some beer. And uh, he tries to catch up with them, and they uh, beat him up, and they leave like these scars on his face, like right where his huge fucking chin is. That's where he has scars. Um, yeah. So they do that, then they pull, uh, they cause this guy and uh, to get into a car accident. They like shove him off the side of the road, and it kills the guy's uh, wife and kids. And uh, then a few years later, his uh, his daughter is still alive. She's in a coma though, and he's taking care of her in her house. And there's this uh, woman, this like uh, child care, I don't know, woman that. Uh, shows up and she wants to take the daughter away and put her in a hospital and the dad doesn't want that of course but uh, on top of all this there is someone killing the kids one by one now could it be the guy um, could it be Robert Zadar or could it possibly be the guy who has recently shown up this guy's uh, best friend who wants to work in the body shop could it be him you look out the watch to find out. Um, like I said, this is a very uneven film, and earlier I mentioned that this film stars William Smith, and uh, you're probably confused. If he's the star, why did I not mention him in the uh, plot description? The reason for this is that William Smith is in maybe 10 minutes of this film. Robert Zadar is in maybe 5 minutes. Zadar is, uh, he shows up in the beginning towards the middle, and in the middle, and then he disappears for the rest of the film, we never see him again, which sucks. But Smith is awesome, William Smith is always awesome, he doesn't even need to act, he just needs to talk, he doesn't even have a voice, it's a fucking growl, it's a growl, it's William Smith. And he's credited along with Bobby Zadar as a associate producer, then again if I've learned anything, that means absolutely nothing at all, I mean uh, Richard Lynch and Don Kalfa are uh, associate producers on Corpses Are Forever, and I don't think, I don't think they put up any money or anything. I can't remember. Um, but uh, yeah, th like I said, this is a very uneven film. Why you may ask? Because it doesn't know if it wants to be a slasher film or if it wants to be some sort of weird revenge drama. Um, the like, there's a lot. A lot of the kills are like torture porn and. Uh, well, it's a very light torture form, like a guy gets a drill in his head, um, a g okay, yeah, there's even random people getting killed, it makes no sense, the killer has no motive <laughs> towards the middle, um, but a girl, like, gets, this is an odd death, she, uh, gets spray-painted to death, yes, yeah, spray-painted blue till she dies. Um, I, I wish that could make sense, I wish I could make sense out of that, um, so yeah, oh, oh, here's the best part. This is the best scene in the film. Do you know what? Watch this movie. It's for it's sort of long for a film of its type, but watch the movie for this scene. It's a scene where um the uh, one of the guys who uh, is responsible for the uh, death of the guy's family. He has this girl and she's jumping. Okay, they're in the middle of a desert, like in a canyon, right? And she is jumping up and down in a random uh, trampoline topless. And then 
the kill. Then you see Robert's dog crouching in the bushes, uh, sitting there like you think he's gonna kill them, right? But then this guy shows up with a rocket launcher and he starts blasting it. Yeah, the killer uses a rocket launcher, and William Smith is like, I think I heard something. It, it's just I know I don't make it sound very uh, exciting, but it's the best part about this film. Uh, it's very sappy. It's very uh, it's sort of a preachy film at times. It's not terrible. Um, I guess I'll give it a five out of ten, a solid five. Uh, if you have nothing better to watch, it's worth a, it's worth giving it a chance. Um, well, you're in luck because I'll be reviewing two movies today. Just stay tuned for my next review, which will be The Witch's Sabbath, starring Cinderville, Ron Jeremy, and Randall Malone. Of course.